Hi, um, this is Amy with Dragon's Bend Apothecary. I want to walk you through the new doTERRA Sun lineup. Um, it caught me by surprise. There's some actually really interesting ingredients in these products. And um, compared to other natural products that I've seen for sun care, these are really worth um, taking a look at. So let's walk through together what these are and what's in them. So first I wanna start with having you think about summer and what's on your bucket list. I guarantee you a lot of the activities on your bucket list involve being outside, enjoying the weather, um, watching the kids playing the sprinklers, maybe getting in the sprinklers yourself, going to the beach, mountains, whatever's your jam. But there's a lot of things that we do in the summer that um, intentionally take us outside. And it's, it's by design, nature, um, nature wants us outside. It's the time for activity. It's the time for being out in the sun and enjoying ourselves, connecting with nature and others. So in doing that, we want to make sure that we're um, getting the appropriate alignment with nature for our healthcare needs, as well as not harming the environment in the process. And that's where I feel like these doTERRA products have really kicked it up a notch that really meet those couple of objectives, as well as keeping us healthy, strong, and being able to enjoy everything on our summer bucket list. So let's start out with some basic information. The sun is actually good for us. We need to be out in the sun. Again, I just mentioned that this time of year, when you are following a natural health protocol, um, being out in the sun is one of the best things you can do. It's one of the foundations of our health. And it is fundamental that we get that vitamin D from the sun in our body. We're actually one of the few organisms and living that cannot produce our own vitamin D. So we need the sun. We need it to help us get the vitamin D so we can convert that to things our body needs, including serotonin, which is linked to your mind and well-being, your mental health, um, regulation of melatonin, which is um, helping with your sleep quality, and it helps with calcium absorption. Now, one caution with the vitamin D is that when I usually when I'm working with clients on this, if you're taking vitamin D or you're really active in the sun, getting your vitamin D naturally, I like to look at your calcium and magnesium as well, because these three supplements work very, very closely together. And we want to make sure that they're all balanced and you're not um, creating an imbalance with one over the others, because it does help particularly with metabolism, calcium, and um, you know your bone strength as well as your immunity. So we just want to keep those all in check. But the sun is the best place to get our vitamin D and to help get it absorbed into our body so that it can perform the way that it needs to. So uh, just like everything else, you gotta keep it in balance. And that's one of the big principles in natural health is everything in moderation. That goes for being in the sun too. We can actually do a great deal of our damage with too much sun over time. And we've heard the horror stories of bad sunburns and things that lead to things like skin cancer, sunspots, wrinkles, all the long-term damage things that none of us really enjoy talking about, but they do happen when we haven't taken the appropriate care to balance our time in the sun or um, take care of ourselves while we do enjoy the sun. So just, you know, again, I love being out in the sun and outside any chance I can get. But I do know, you know, it does come with some preparation that I have to make to make sure that I'm protected. So in that regard, let's talk about some of the suggestions. And you guys all know these. We talk about them regularly. You hear them in the regular safety thing, um, information around summer. But, you know, some of the popular recommendations are to seek shade or stay indoors from 10 to 4. Well, I'm sorry, but if I get a chance to go outside and between 10 and 4, I'm going, okay? Um, the next suggestion makes me laugh, too, because wearing a long sleeve shirt um, in the South during a 100 degree high humidity day sounds like the most miserable thing ever. <laughs> so I, I don't find that one too appealing either. Sunglasses, you know, those are really great to have. Um, and you can pick them up relatively inexpensive. Wide brimmed hats are cool. Um, but then we come to really the ultimate, which is the sunscreen. And there are so many products out there for sunscreen. And this idea that we have to have a really high SPF 
is kind of a misnomer because that's not true. A 30 or 40% FSPF is going to get you about 97, 98% um, protection and no sunscreen out there is 100%. So the fact that you can get a natural sunscreen at 96, 97% is pretty darn incredible. And um, it gives you the protection while also protecting yourself from a lot of nasty things that we're gonna talk about. So again, I would say of all this chart, you know, the glasses, the hat and sunscreen is probably things that I would do. The others, you know, eh, if I'm going outside, I'm going outside to, to play and do things. And those other things usually don't work in that, in that regard. So let's talk about sunscreen. There's actually two types available. The chemical, which is your common off the shelf um, product that many of you are familiar with. Um, they contain a lot of ingredients in them, including synthetic fragrances um, and chemically derived um, SPF and other things that really don't do you a lot of favor because just like any chemical product you use, your body cannot process this. So when it comes to chemical sunscreens, they absorb the UV ray and your mineral, which is your natural sunscreens, they reflect the UV. So that's a big difference there already. But then also when you deal with chemicals, um, you could actually be introducing some risks to your health. So I really caution people in any kind of chemical product, whether it's food, personal care, household cleaners, detergents, et cetera, because a lot of our health issues do derive from the simple fact that we use chemical-based products. And this is just an excellent opportunity to not even mess with that stuff and still get the protection that you need to be able to go outside and enjoy yourself. So some of the things to consider when you're looking at chemical versus mineral sunscreens is that when it comes to the chemical ones, you're actually um, um, getting a little more exposure than just the, the fact that it's chemical based because between the UV rays and the chemical product, it's generating a lot of toxins in your body and we call those free radicals. Some of those chemicals in there can actually cause hormonal problems they can cause organ um, toxicity. They can cause skin allergies and rashes and just really horrible things um, that are just not necessary. So there's a lot more reasons than just three to avoid a chemical product period, but I, I just um, can't emphasize it enough. Now that there's some min good mineral-based ones out there, I don't know why anyone would actually use a chemical sunscreen at this point. So, when we talk about toxicity, there's some things to think about here. Our bodies are exposed to toxins all the time. And this is why in our homes, in our personal care products, in our diet, it is so important to find a pathway that has the least amount of toxins available um, to reduce those exposures and allow our body a chance to recoup from those things. When you have toxic overload, um, you are looking at things like severe detox that are necessary to get that out of your system, as well as um, things like not feeling your best. Um, you could have mental health problems. There's um, illnesses, there's diseases. There's just so many things that can happen because of our exposure to toxins. So when we intentionally look at reducing toxic load, these are the things we're talking about. It's, it's reducing the products that we use that have toxins in them, as well as how we interact with toxins and how we position our body to defend us when we do have to be around them. So you can control the amount of toxins that you have in your home, on your body. And one of the areas you can do that is with your sunscreen and your sun care products, your makeups, your everything you put in and on your body. So the, this is a really cool um, aspect of these products that had me looking twice and looking at how it could help myself and my family as well as you. So when we, let's talk a little bit about mineral sunscreens. Um, again, chemical ones absorb the UV rays 
And we don't want that because it can cause some healthcare issues. So the answer really is to look at a natural mineral sunscreen, which is a filter. Think of it as kind of putting on a hat all over your body and it filters the sun in. It gives you what you actually need for a barrier without blocking what you, what you want to have come in, like that vitamin D um, absorption. So it is effective immediately when you apply a mineral sunscreen, you apply it, you rub it in, you're good to go. The awesome thing is too, it's actually safe for all skin types. So the main mineral sunscreen filters are titanium dioxide and zinc oxide. And these are recognized as generally safe for all skincare types. So if you, um, I've never heard of anyone having a breakout from a mineral sunscreen because it is natural and our bodies naturally know what to do with things that are coming from nature. So these are beautiful ingredients that are just right off the bat speak volumes for the quality of the stuff. Now, when you look at Sunscare products, this is what appealed to me on the doTERRA products is that all of them, every single one of these four products are at least SPF 30, they're broad spectrum, water resistant, and they're reef safe, as well as coming in eco-friendly packaging. So I think that's really awesome to just right off the bat, they've got some incredible things that are in them and they do good things for us and the environment. So I think that's a nice little balance and you're not trading off anything in terms of protection for yourself, your family, or the environment. When you look at the ingredients, and I'm gonna walk you through all of these, but there's some really good basic ingredients in all of these. And I'm gonna start with the doTERRA essential oils of frankincense, helichrysum, and kerosene. These three ingredients are so good for our skin. I talk about all the time the need for frankincense for skincare, particularly on your face, because it's a good anti-aging product. But helichrysum is soothing, it's healing, it's what you do for wounds and burns a lot of times. Um, to have it in a sun care product uh, lineup like this tells you that not only are you out in the sun getting protected, but it's also got ingredients that are helping you heal if you overdo it while you're still out in the sun. That's pretty awesome. And carrot seed is wonderful for your skin. You're, you will thank me now for have found, finding products that have carrot seed on them because that's just one of the most fabulous things you can put on your skin. So in addition to the essential oils that are in it, you're going to find in these particular products, uh, vitamin E, which is extremely um, nourishing to our skin, it's healing, and it's in every single one of these doTERRA sun products. Raspberry seed oil, avocado, jojoba, esters are nourishing ingredients that you're going to find in the SPF lotion and the spray. The shea and coconut butters are going to be in the SPF stick, which is fantastic because that one is specifically formulated for your face. Um, the aloe vera red algae extract, hydrolauric acid are nourishing and are found in the after sun uh, mist um, because they help deliver that deep hydration that we want after we've been in sun uh, exposure. Now, I bet if a lot of you have dry skin, you're going to find that after sun spray to be particularly helpful year round because of the nourishing benefits that it has. Um, I, I can tell you it's absolutely fantastic. It's super soft on your skin. And if you're looking for just a very good product to support um, hydration in your skin, this is one that I would turn to. So some other soothing ingredients in what caught my eye on this is the turmeric extract. Turmeric is an anti-inflammatory um, ingredient and you will find this in the sun care products. And what's interesting here is I was like, why would they put anti-inflammatory in a sun care lineup? But when you think about it, when you're out in the sun, you're starting to get warm and your skin is starting to feel like the burn feeling, that can trigger inflammation in a lot of us. So having it proactively included in your sun care products is actually pretty darn smart. Um, and it helps to um, control some of the inflammatory responses that can happen in this situation. 
So I found it absolutely brilliant that doTERRA did this. I have not found another natural sun care product line that does contain the turmeric um, extract. That seems to be pretty unique to the doTERRA lineup at this point. So another thing I wanna call out to you is what does reef safe mean? Cause you'll see that on a lot of products, whether it's the doTERRA ones or the um, off the shelf ones, reef safe and reef friendly actually do not mean the same thing. Um, and you want, this is where you want to read the ingredients because you don't want the oxybenzone or the oxytone, oxytocin um, ingredients in there because those are the things that are going to hurt the, the coral reefs when you go swimming in the ocean. Now, not only that, I mean, we talk about reef safe, reef friendly, which is great and it's super important to avoid ingredients like this, but just in general for the air quality, for our environment in general, these ingredients just do not have any, any place in our, in our products for us or the oceans or the environment. So I would um, really caution you to check the ingredients on your current products. And if they have those, please don't use them um, just for the sake of yourself and the environment. Um, the doTERRA products are reef safe and reef friendly. Um, they do not contain these nasty ingredients. And so they are gonna be very safe for the environment. So let's talk first about the face and body mineral sunscreen lotion. Again, these have the helichrysum, frankincense and kerosene oils. It is SPF 30. It's the broad spectrum protection and it's water resistant for 80 minutes. Guys, that's freaking awesome. And the SPF 30 is 97%. Um, effective against the UV rays. So you're really getting a high level crop product here without all the nasty stuff. It's a very simple product. It's easy to use and it's got some incredible um, ingredients in it that are good for your body and your skin. So the body mineral sunscreen spray, this is um, in a the aluminum non-aerosol spray. It's um, easy to use, um, last up to 80 minutes, water resistant. And it is also um, got some incredible ingredients, including aloe vera, vitamin E, raspberry seed oil, avocado, the turmeric extract, and the jojoba. Um, and those are really good for restoration of your skin. And again, we talked about the anti-inflammatory response there. The face and body mineral stick. This is pretty awesome. It's a twist up tube um, format. And it's the SPF 40, which is fantastic for your skin. And again, it's a very high effective. You're talking you know, over 97% effective there, broad spectrum. Um, it's got this extra added things with the shea and coconut butter for moisturization of your skin. And again, it's got the frankincense, helichrysum, and carrot seed in it. Um, it is a pretty darn good. I, I have to say this is a really nice little product, easy to use, rolls on nicely to the skin, absorbs quickly, and you can move on with your day. Now let's talk about this after skin um, product. This is really cool, guys. Not only does it have these really great ingredients that we've been talking about, but it also has capiba, lavender, peppermint, and blue tansy in it. Um, and it has um, red algae extract. So this is also really good for just soothing the skin, promoting the healing, and just that all over coverage um, for dryness or after skin effects. So I want to encourage you to look at your swim bag, gym bag, and anywhere else you have these type of products that you take regularly. <laughs> And consider things like your plastic water bottle, deodorants, and your, certainly your sun care products. And think about using a more natural option, not only for yourself, but for the environment. So again, we've talked a lot about toxins in this um, short video, but it really is time to take that seriously, not only for your own health, but that of our environment. So I really encourage you to check these out. Um, I'm listing here the QRC codes if you want more information about these products. And I'm listing the wholesale prices. So if you're not currently working with me and get your doTERRA products through me, let me know because I can get you these wholesale prices. 
your retail prices are going to be 25% higher than what these you see here. There's just no reason to pay for that. So uh, reach out to me if you're not currently working with me for your doTERRA products. And let's get you some really high quality sun care care um, products for your swim bag and help you enjoy your summer. So summer isn't waiting for an invitation. Let's get out there and enjoy it, but let's do it safely and in, the, in a way that protects us and the environment.